Operating system after our successful overclock. So just let me get in. Okay. Now you want to, um, if you don't already have any system stability programs, you want to go down to your internet browser. We prefer to use Google Chrome because it's the fastest internet browser you can get now. Um, so that's a it's a really good browser. Okay, so what we want to show you guys is you want to go to um, Google. Okay. Um, now you want to search for, there's one program we want you to search for right now, it's called OCCT. This is what Digital Storm uses, you know, the computer builder uses uh, for system stability checks on their uh, customers' overclocked machines. Okay, so you want to go to the DAM OCCT website English. Okay. Let's see, you got a nice black and red page here. Then you want to go to the download section. Okay. Now you'll see there's a little download button. It says OCC Perestroika, whatever. I don't think that's. I think it's in German or something. Um, yeah. So you want to download it. So after you've done downloading it, install the program. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. Um, you want to get into the program. You need an administ. You need an administrator. Um, user account to do this. As you can see that's the loading icon. You'll see a l nice little red screen. Okay, Now it'll show you your system is at idle because you're not performing any tasks at the moment and it'll have a set time for your CPU stability test. Okay. Now I prefer you guys go to 10 minutes but since we don't have a very, we don't have a lot of time to do this, we're going to do a six minute. So we're going to start it. Now, before we start it, we want to make sure that the set, the test mode set, is a large data set and the priority is high. Okay? So then you want to hit on. Now, what it does is it's going to um, monitor the CPU's temperatures and its tasks for a minute, and for the rest of the time, it will for the five minutes left it will uh, um, stress it at near to 97 to 100 percent stress testing so this is a great program it uh, can stress test your CPU um, it can stress test your um, GPU your memory uh, your power supply which we don't recommend you do because it can uh, overvolt your power supply and uh, blow it up or just destroy your power supply because it's stressing your power supply's voltage on the rails so you don't want to do that um, that's I guess that's mainly for enthusiasts who guys who just want to make sure that their 1000 watt power supply is giving enough juice to their graphics cards so just make sure you know now see so see it's testing at 99.98% now it's 100% now if you're, um, if there's an error while it's testing, you'll hear a duck quack. Um, if there's, you know, if the system's not stable enough for the overclock, and you know, it also down here tells you your um, overclock, your temperatures, and everything else. So, yeah, it's got your temperatures. It tells you your um, Graphics card temperature, our 9800 GTX right now is at 43 degrees Celsius, and that's idle. Um, tells you your core voltages, your V-core is at, my V-core is at 128 right now. Okay. Was there an error? 
No, that wasn't there. Okay, good. It was just, I guess it was glitched or something, but it's fine now. They give you um, really nice illustrated graphs, tells you how the performance is and everything, and the temperatures and the CPU usage, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's one way you can do it. Now the professionals, the real big enthusiasts, like to use a program called Prime95, which is on a website called GIMPS. Um, I'm not going to show you to download that today because I just don't think it's really that necessary to. So thank you guys. Um, and also, when you go into your computer, you know, go to Properties and check your Vista score. You can see our Vista score is 5.5 right now. And our processor is at 3 gigahertz. So it shows you how easily um, you can overclock a Black Edition processor without having to change your um, HT frequency speed. Um, it's all automated by the computer anyway, so it's pretty neat. Um, so this concludes our Black Edition series. And to tell you guys, um, this is great for any Black Edition AMD CPU. Your um, Phenoms, your, um, as long as they're all Black Edition, um, any dual cores that are Black Edition, like those new Kumas, the 7850 Black Edition, um, any of the new AM3s. Uh, so check it out. Um, you know, if you're really confident in overclocking, this is the easiest way to do it through the computer. You do not, I recommend you do not use the AMD Overdrive program. Uh, thanks again, guys, for watching our video. Have a great day.